What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Kangaroo Black. Um, in this video, I'm going I'm to be talking about the Mississippi State-Alabama game. As you know, we're coming off a loss. And I think Mississippi State might be in for it this week. So I feel like Alabama got a point to prove this week. And like I said, we're coming back with a vengeance. And I think all remaining games, we're going to be playing with a purpose. And I don't think I think Nick Saban gonna be coaching him harder than what he was from for the remainder of the season. Now, most likely you'll know who we'll have to meet in the uh SEC championship if both teams make it there, which I believe they will. But uh that's gonna be a tough task. And uh as we seen last week, anything can happen. Mm -mm -mm. But if you notice. The past few years, I'm going to say ever since 2010, damn near every game that Alabama lost, it was because to make the mistakes that Alabama made, not because of the team just straight up beating them. The only game that I can think of that Alabama lost that's not due to their own mistakes was the game, the, the national championship game against Clemson when they beat us like, 44 to 16, I believe that was the scope. That's the only game I can think of since 2010 that Alabama lost when they didn't have or when they didn't make a lot of mistakes. So, yeah, they can hang with anybody. But I'm going to just talk about this Mississippi State game uh, real quick. So, here we go. As far as Mississippi State, they 3-2 and two right now. They not playing good ball. So, but their offense is doing their thing. They, they, they pass for 372 yards per game. So, that's, that's really good. They only run for uh, 56 yards a game. So, their running game is not that good. But they pass them for 300, over 370 yards a game. That lets you know that they're going to be throwing the ball and they're going to be testing it secondary. So, and, the, and from the way the secondary played last week, they'll they'll probably they'll get what they want if if our secondary ain't focused. Now, as a as a deep, they played good as a whole against Ole Miss, and then they come back the very next game and lay a egg. That that can't continue to happen. But uh, hopefully the secondary back. Hopefully the old line, I mean the defensive line, has gotten better this week and can get to the quarterback because they didn't last week. And last week was the first game that I seen where uh, Will Anderson didn't have an impact. So that's the first game this year Will Anderson didn't have a have a uh, impact. So hopefully this week, hey, we can we can get back on track. I know we had a, a couple of guys, one of them told, told he was dealing with a little injury last week, but he still played. So if you got to, if you on the field, you got to perform. So you got to play up to the Alabama standard if you on the field. And our defense ain't been doing it. So hopefully we get down in the red zone, five, three, two yard line, we'll run the damn ball instead of passing the ball. That's the that's like the dumbest thing to me. If you at the two yard line, why are you calling three pass plays in a row? Or you at the five yard line, why are you throwing pass, throwing the ball three times in a row? That's just plain stupid. So hopefully we'll run the ball more this week. You know, but I still think Bryce Young will throw for over three hundred yards, and we'll run for over one hundred fifty yards. So. That's just my opinion. Their defense uh, passing is on allowing 229-yard passing the game. And um, rushing, uh, they're allowing 89 yards a game. But I think, you know, we'll rush more for more than 89 yards. So, and I think Bryce Young will have over 300-yard passing. But we got to come ready to play. Hopefully – Nick Saban got them, got them ready. But like I said, we lost last week, and I think that uh, Mississippi State is in trouble. 
I would hate to be the next team to have to play Alabama after they don't lost. So I know we, we got to uh, play Arkansas, Auburn, LSU, but I think we'll win out and get to the SEC championship. That's just my opinion. But as far as my score prediction for this game, I'm going to predict us to have 42. And um, I've been wrong on these uh, opponents' score. Every time I predict something, they seem to get more points than I predicted. So I'm going to get them a little bit more this week. But Alabama, 42. And um, Mississippi State, mm, 24. That's my prediction. Unless this damn defense focus like they focused against um, uh, Ole Miss. I know Ole Miss scored 21 points, but the, basically that was garbage time. The game was up well in hand. But the thing is, like Nick Saban say, you got to finish. And I ain't seen the defense finish not one game this season. Not a one. So, and another thing, I hope he got that damn Pete Golden straight. Because, man, it, it's ever since he's been there, this defense been a mess. Mm, mm, mm. I wouldn't mind if he go back and get Jeremy Pruitt. I guarantee you we'll see a difference then. But, like I said, Alabama 42, Mississippi State 24, that's my score prediction, and I'll talk to y'all later. Roll Tide.